Here he comes. Doing a show. This is like the fourth or fifth time. Love it. This is a little rest area here in Idaho off of 26 West. I'm headed to Crater Lake. The big boys over there. Stunning views. I rolled in about 9.30 last night, about 70 miles shy of where I wanted to be, but I was over driving. It was a full day. And today, stretching the time, it's almost 11. I want to drive during the hottest part of the day, which will be around noon, till, I don't know, 10 o'clock tonight. On average, I'll do two to 300 miles a day, maybe on the high end, four, 450. Well, today I think I have over 500, uh, which will be great to beat the heat. Nice little picnic area right there with shade, a commodity. Little facilities there I have not been in. I think uh, Snake River is down below here. He goes again, putting on a show. On down the road, hope you'll join me. Been to hear Serene and Simple Life. Before I head out, I decided to take a look at the uh, upper view here. A cottonwood gallery forest. The South Fork of the Snake River supports the largest cottonwood gallery forest in the Western United States, making this place truly unique. Narrow leaf cottonwoods are a vital part of the environment, providing nesting sites and perches for osprey and bald eagles. Beautiful. I call that a through the window with the trees. More information on the osprey. You want to pause. Native waters of the Yellowstone cutthroat. I love seeing the landscaping. Look at that boy go. A little noisy, but I like it. Picnic area is way down below. How nice is that? If you're just in and out, you would miss all this. And the bald eagle. Just a few, few short decades ago, bald eagles hovered on the brink of extinction in the lower 48. Through conservation efforts and strong protection laws, bald eagles returned to American skies and are no longer an endangered species. Now the South Fork of the Snake boasts one of the most productive bald eagle nesting habits in the lower 48. Look at this. Love it, Idaho. And there goes the show again. Can you see it? Coming down for a landing. Woo! A little bit higher up for your viewing pleasure. Standing on the bench, saw two other people doing that, and I'm like, wow, what a brilliant idea. You don't have to travel somewhere special to see the beauty and enjoy the day. Just a simple rest area with magnificent beauty.
Time to go. I would love to come here and sweep the sidewalk. I used to enjoy doing that. <laughs> Put in the comments. Spray it off with a hose and then sweep it. It was fun. Look at these purple. Woo! I love uh, the smell of this greenery that was just cut too. On down the road, as I say often, bye bye to some of the beauty in Idaho. Another three, four hundred miles, I'll be in Oregon for the night. Made it to Oregon. Miss showing you the sign, Ontario rest area. Oh, I was debating, do I stay here tonight? And I'm thinking, no. It's 95 degrees. It's eight o'clock. It goes down to 90 at nine o'clock. Even though we are without beating down sun, it's still very hot. It's a pretty little rest area. Little meaning that sometimes the parking is a lot bigger, although this goes pretty far down. There's Happy Haven, there's the sun. I did 339 miles, I have 150 to go. I think I just need to keep going. I think I'll get a milkshake. This is exciting. I'm in Oregon, woohoo! I wanted to show you the sign. Reason it's so exciting, a little trivia. This is state number 48. And then I will have seen the lower 48. I only have Alaska to go. Many of you know that already. And a little more trivia is since I started this nomad journey, September 15th, 2018, I have visited 46 states. Five of them I had already lived in, but went back and visited. So as far as new states, this is state number 41. And then add five to it that I've lived in, which would be uh, California, Arizona, Texas, Virginia, get the other one. Oh, Colorado. I've lived in all those states. But I've gone back to them now. Oregon Welcome Center. And the only two states that I've lived in and not gone back to as a nomad is Pennsylvania, where I was raised and then raised my kids. And Delaware that I lived at for about a year. So, gonna head on down the road. I think this is the first rest area where I have seen porta potties. A little strange to me. Uh, every rest area I've ever been at <laughs> had regular bathrooms and uh, no porta potties. So, that's a little strange. Nice little area here. <laughs> Guess roses don't do too well in 100 degree temperatures now. That's cute. I love these lamps that'll come on. And there are regular facilities here. I just, I don't know. I just thought that was a little strange to see porta potties or, and or because first time ever all across the country. That's cute. Yeah, it doesn't even feel uh, comfortable to sit outside right now. So I got my answer. I needed to walk around and see if I wanted to stay here or not. I'm gonna keep on going. Pulled over for a view for you. Woo! It's magnificent, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. 
evening in Oregon. Wow. Beautiful farmland I drove by. Desert, mountains. And now we have a beautiful stream. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's nine o'clock. I don't know if we've had the time change yet. Two days now just came from Wyoming through Idaho. Next stop in my next show will be Crater Lake National Park. I'm excited. A different sort of rest area. My only neighbors when I pulled in last night. Here I am. Couldn't decide where to park. It was pitch black. I drove from 2 to 11 p.m. I did 448 miles. I was going to do another 60 to the rest area I marked out. And lo and behold, this sign came up, rest area. Quick turn off over there. Pitch black, didn't know where I was at. Circled around. First of all, I parked right there. He had his generator on most of the night. That was annoying. And then a van that I had been following and then I passed, they parked in the corner here, a nice place. I don't know if you can make sense of what I'm saying, but here's a nice open area. Everything always looks different in the daylight. And shaded picnic area. Nice that they have trash bins here. This is, I think that's the I-80. <laughs> I just, uh, I-80, I-84, headed towards Crater Lake today. I'm about, uh, whoo, I'd say a couple, three hours from Crater Lake. I can't remember the miles. I think it's around 160 plus the 60 that I didn't do, so that I was headed closer to. Very pretty. Anyways, huh. I wonder what that is. Nice little, beautiful, beautiful, oh my gosh, the road in here. Part of me wants to go back and do about 30 or 40 miles in the direction I just came because of the beauty. It was beyond breathtaking. I stopped and showed you a little bit, hope you enjoyed. Please share this with your friends and click the bell and subscribe if you're not already. You're doing someone else a favor. You might just be the catalyst for change for them by sharing them how they too can have a serene and simple life and mostly free, except for gas. Alrighty, next stop Crater Lake. Keep watching, that show will be within a day or two. It's a crop sprayer. I finally figured that out. Here they go.